Okay, today we are going to be installing one of my modified doorknobs on this door. But first, the door itself has to be modified to accept this new knob. So what you're going to do first, this is a trailer house door, mobile home door. I'm going to refer to it as the mobile home door. You need to remove the old hardware first. You see this doorknob, it's, it's about to break and see it quite don't go in all the way and it hangs. So first thing you want to do is remove the old hardware. I'm sorry about the filming conditions, it's not perfect because it's always kind of narrow. So Basically to remove the old door, is you just need a Phillips head screwdriver. You also need the same Phillips head to install the new knob after we do the door mod. Okay. That can be set to the side. This piece needs to come out now. I see this piece is wore out. But anyways, the mod that we're going to do, see this door part, it will not, it won't go in all the way, see. So when you try to shut it, it hits, see. It won't allow it to shut all the way. So what you got to do is you need to take a pen. I'll be right back. A pen, a sharpie, a pencil, whatever you want to write with. <clears throat> Get your thing lined up where you want it and draw you a line. Pull this out. Now you got your line. You got you should have a little square like that. What you're gonna do next? Um, you will need one of these. It's called a rotary cutter or a rotary tool. So. <clears throat> You can get them wired, you can get them battery operated. I like this one because it's awesome. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to make an incision all the way around. I kind of got to go light because I got a smoke detector out there. Once you get it cut, you need a chisel and a hammer. You need to chisel this, the rest of it out.
I don't know if this chisel's gonna work or not. These doors are made out of like some composite material. Well, then you want to do is test fit it along the way. All you got to do is just stick it in there. It doesn't go all the way in. No, it don't. So I got to keep on going. And don't be afraid to use the rotary tool to do some more cutting. This part takes time, so don't get in a rush.
I think it's about as good as it's gonna get, so. Maybe. Maybe not. And now it'll clear because this is more flush now. Still don't know why. I mean, it's not as flush as I want it to be. I said it's about as flush as it's going to get. Uh, that's what I got so far. Now you're going to take your screws. Assuming y'all can see that.
Oh, y'all see how thin this door is? A normal interior door isn't this thin. It's a little bit thicker. And these screws I recommend doing by hand. And the only reason I don't recommend using like a, uh, an electric screwdriver. You know that orange thing I usually use sometimes. If y'all watched my previous videos, is because if you go too fast, you can possibly strip this composite stuff out and you won't be able to secure your deal. About as tight as I'm going to go with that one. See? It's flush now. Be right back. to get the tool for the doorknob and a specialty Allen wrench. Basically what you're going to do now is you're going to put the doorknob together like like you would normally do now. It's my modified doorknob. That piece went on perfect. Take this Allen wrench. You find the little Allen screw. Basically undo it. Slip that off. This cover comes off. See? And now you slip this part on this side, lining the lock up that you cut off earlier, and that I cut off earlier. There we go. Now you realize this thing does not have any holes in it. That's because you put your screws in this thing, then you slide that thing over your screws. So it looks all nice and pretty. Now you just screw them on, just like you would normally do when you mount a new knob. Tighten that up. Do the same thing for the other screw. Tighten the piss out of it. Um, now you want to slide your ring back on. Just push it on. It just pushes on. Then you put your other part of your knob. Grab your fancy little Allen wrench. Tighten it a little screw up. Push it down, push it down on the other side, give it a test run. Works just perfectly fine. See? Don't hit now. So 
That's how to modify a thin mobile home door to accept a regular doorknob and doorknob hardware. So I'll see y'all in the next video tutorial or project. As you can see, I already did that one. That one's already been modified though. So see y'all later.